Hey, guess what? It's time for another episode of 359 Podcast, and it's a big one. It's 150. My name Yay. is Brian, and I am here Woo! with Roger Chang, yes. Ben Fox Rubin, and welcoming guest Rich Nieva. Ooh, hello. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Rich, by the way, who comes from our San Francisco office and is on his first CNET podcast ever. No, first podcast. First podcast yeah. ever. Ever. So ever. Let's be yeah. nice to him. And congratulations. Yeah. Ooh, hello, 359. I'm happy to be here. Welcome hello to the to... five people that are watching. I was going to say seven. <laughs> oh, well, you're, too <laughs> you're too generous. You're too generous. We've got it. We've got a busy day, as usual. Uh, we're going to be talking about Google's uh, intrepid, I guess it's Alphabet's intrepid yep. drone plan. Mm-hmm. I, I hate that we have to keep saying Alphabet because we have to clarify that it's Google's parent company, and that always bothers me. Like That's a few extra words I don't need to throw in every time. Uh, Google's drone plan. We're going to be talking about Pokemon Go, trying to make a comeback. It we'll makes see. sense for the 150th yeah. episode that we're <laughs> talking about Pokemon Go again. <laughs> yeah, because we spent so much time. So many episodes. We should be talking about Samsung, but we're not, surprisingly. No. Uh, and then lastly, we'll, we'll talk about Apple Music hitting another milestone for subscribers. Uh, so let's let's get into it. As usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Brian will pick out the best, and we will answer them or try. 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 Okay. Let's get this recording underway, and here we go in three, two. Welcome to the 359, where we talk about the top tech news of the day and all the other crap you want to throw in. I'm Roger Chang. I'm Ben Fox Rubin. And with us, we have special guest, crack Google and social reporter, Rich Neva. Hey, Woo. everybody. How uh, are you? Yeah. So, Rich, you actually <laughs> wrote a story about Google's drone efforts today. Why don't you tell us more about its crazy plan? Sure. So, uh, the story is about Google. Google or, or Google's parent company, Alphabet, um, thinking about opening up, opening up a delivery uh, marketplace called Wing Marketplace. Um, and they've talked to uh, partners, apparently, and some of them are, are uh, Whole Domino's, Domino's, Domino's Pizza yeah. and Whole Foods. So pizza via drone, everybody. So the idea here is that, that they don't have conclusion. to go and build their own drones and do this whole infrastructure. Google's going to do it for them. And, and these companies are going to go in and sort of rent the service. Is that is that how it works? Or? Uh, they they didn't even go through uh, that much detail. Okay. It's just they've 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 talked to them. Apparently, this is according to the Wall Street Journal. Right. I mean, it feels like a smart plan though. Like, so a lot of these companies they're not tech companies, right? Like Domino's oh, isn't going to yeah. be. They're not going to go invest in drone technology. <laughs> so that's true. Why not like, use Google as sort of the the, the framework? When it, it is important to mention though that anytime I talk to analysts about drones, because I cover Amazon, so I do look at their Amazon's, eyes roll. Yeah, their eyes roll <laughs> at least over the phone where they're right. like, "There's, there's so much regulation around this. Yeah, it absolutely. really doesn't seem very likely uh, in the U.S. Maybe it's more possible in other areas." Well, I mean, it's important to know, like this is uh, this is part of Alphabet's X unit, right? Which yep. is all about moonshots, all about right. those crazy projects. Yeah, and uh, this is a crazy project for sure. Uh, but expecting something like this next year, I don't know. What, no. like, well, also important to note is that Google is already testing out burrito deliveries on Virginia Tech's campus. So um, um, it's... Wait, via drones? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Delicious. <clears throat> oh With <my> Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Next up, are you still playing Pokemon Go? Nope. Silence. Uh, <laughs> well, developer Niantic is hoping to reignite your interest uh, and enlisting a unlikely partner. Uh, on December 12th, it'll actually release a number of new Pokemon. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, and... That day, the same day, Sprint, Boost Mobile stores, and I guess Radio Shack Sprint stores will all become Pokestops and gyms. Thrilling. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> I deleted I Pokemon Go. Did you I really? Del- I still have it you on know, my phone. I, I, the problem is, is that I really don't like it when people are nearly walking into me when they're walking down the street yeah. and looking at their phones. And I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I really liked Were Pokemon Go. Were you that guy? Go. Yeah, when I was playing Pokemon Go on my way to like Grand Central every right. day, I'd be you know swiping and catching Pokemon and all that other. You know, stuff. I, I make fun of Pokemon Go because it's kind of it has fallen off the top charts, but it mm-hmm. is still a top ten grossing game or grossing app. And uh, when I was out in LA last week, I actually ran into a bunch of people who were still playing the game. Yeah, really. Yeah. I was gonna ask like, when's the last time you'd, you'd seen that? My wife, I have it. My it's wife still actually plays. She's, she's it's still, not the phenom it used to be. She's representing yeah. Team Valor well. Mm-hmm. Still, um, well and, done. Yeah, so I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she finds the time. All right. Lastly, Apple Music hit another milestone by surpassing 20 million subscribers. That's three million more than it reported in September. So, good amount of growth, good amount of momentum. Uh, definitely is further evidence that you know streaming music and this kind of all on-demand model is sort of the way to go. Yeah. What do you think? 
I, I think that um, services like this are really going to be what Apple's future is going to be like as people keep holding onto their phones and their tablets and their desktops a lot longer. So do you I, guys I mean, do either of you subscribe to music service? I don't. I subscribe to Spotify. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that, I feel like a lot of people do. Uh, that's still the the number one on demand streaming service out there. Uh, it's important to know Pandora actually unveiled the details of Pandora Premium, its service, which is planned to launch early next year for ten dollars a month, just like all the others. Uh, lastly, if you if you want to sorry for more of these stories, check us out on CNET. I'm Roger Chang. I'm Ben Fox Rubin. I'm Rich Neva. Thanks for listening. And we're back. Hey, in the chat. hey. all right. And Wonderful f- dismount for al- episode al- 150. Almost, almost <coughs> got a clean <coughs> dismount. Wah, wah, yeah. Wah. No cough. I did no cough. That was Way fantastic. To go. Yeah. yeah. Way to yeah. go. To our viewers, a little bit of context. The... Rich was, uh, he was had a bit of a coughing fit this morning. I was hacking a little, up. A little worried line. he was going to yeah. be hacking through the podcast, but you got it. You made it through clean. Yeah. Look at that. Bravo, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For right. first podcast. You shout really out. did it. Shout out to our friend Michael representing Jamaica in the chat today. Yeah. Michael. Which Michael? Uh, this is a Michael Forsyth. Oh, oh, hey, man. We have right. two regular Michaels, and that's yes. awesome. I know Michael Forsyth. Good man. Uh, <laughs> best best <laughs> question we've had in the chat in a long time. Oh? What if a bird grabs your pizza? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Good question. Like a big bird, like a bird of prey. <laughs> like, like, I'm, like big imagine, bird, yeah. I'm actually imagining <laughs> big bird, like, oh, punching oh, a drone. Right. <laughs> like a big <laughs> yellow bird. Just... Whack that drove from the sky. No, right uh, with a baseball bat. Uh, well, like that's something that that uh, in, in the article mentions Google grappling with, which is like how to logistically do it. Like, does the drone land? Does it like lower the pizza down? Right, via a string? that's what they're doing with the Chipotle. Yeah. I think that they are doing like some sort of like lowering grapple system yeah. or whatever. How does or, that like, work? How, how do you? By the way, how does that work on campus? If you're if you're in your dorm. Can can you open your window and like no. reach out? You have to go downstairs. Seems unlikely that you would be able <laughs> to like, open your window. I gotta go reach out. It doesn't go like to like the dining hall. Ah. <laughs> yeah. What about what about snipe drones? Michael wants to know if there are going to be thieves who will build drones specifically to hijack your pizza. Who hijack oh, other that's drones? That's a really really good These idea. It sounds like questions. a really really bad new movie concept. No no no, like, no 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 because Google's like, good. cowboys no, on on horses Google trying to rob a train. No no, but and now Google it's a drone. will build another drone to protect the no, like every drone. <laughs> there will be like this whole drone war. Just do escalation. Yes. <laughs> That's that's a good point, but then you know, giant birds will show up and then attack all <laughs> attack the Attack everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this birds. is just proof that this probably isn't going to work. Even though, right. like, I kind of personally, I, even if I really you got past the huge amount of regulatory hurdles, which right. there still are, yeah, uh, there are a lot of logistical problems. With I this. still, I, I do like personally love the idea of drones. Like, I think it would be really cool in the future if we did do this. I think it would change a lot of people's lives. Yeah, and I think like. Just buying anything online and then getting it literally within half an hour it sounds like a fantastic idea. So I think it's really cool that Google and Amazon are working on this. But like, I'm very again personally skeptical. I mean, I could see this. I could see this out in like the burbs or sort of like or in rural areas. Rural areas, yeah. not yeah. necessarily a big city, right? Because it would be really, really difficult to do right. it in like a, a major city. But but in the I, suburbs, I, I can totally see this happening. It's definitely one of those like future tech concepts that is out there that could seriously change people's lives. Right. Um, well, yeah, also, think of the accessibility implications there, right? Yeah, for and sure. Google first started out doing this, um, and their focus was disaster relief. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but they scaled back, and so now it's just food. Oh. Now, it's pizza. Pizza. now it's pizza. They went from like yeah, a noble pizza. effort <laughs> right. to like pizza. How burger. dare you? How dare you, Roger? Pizza is noble. Pizza is very noble. I'm just waiting for that really, really lame movie, though, where they have like a high-speed drone chase instead of a car chase. Uh, oh, it's, that's the it's circle, the budget. and it's coming out in a couple months. Oh, my God. Never Wait, mind. What? Yeah, the that circle. Thing? It's uh, Dave Eggers' movie. Or, really? or Dave Eggers' book that they're turning into a movie. And toward the end of it, you can see this in the trailer, so I'm not giving anything away. Uh, I think a, a bunch of drones drone chase? drones attack a truck. So uh, it's like uh, drones chasing a truck. Yeah, it's kind of close to I'm what picturing we're something about. more like Will Ferrell and uh, uh, I always forget the actor's name, but Dr. Steve Brule in like a Step Brothers sequel. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. And they're just chasing each other with the drones. With like, dr- with like their f- they're controlling with the phone. They're like standing right next that. to each other. Yeah. Staring at their phones like, I'm going to get you. Let me get let you. me go on the record saying I would definitely watch that. Yeah, I would watch the crap out of that. Yeah. Hey, a little off topic, but somewhat related. Rob in the chat wants to know, what is the best grocery service online or app? Oh. Oh. There are a handful uh, of them. There's one that I... Well, I have used Amazon Prime. Amazon Fresh. 
Prime Pantry myself. Prime Pantry is another one, but that it, there's limited selection. I mean, there's Fresh Direct. There's right? Fresh Direct. There's Pea Pod. We tend um, to use. Yeah. You use Fresh Direct? Yeah. yeah. Good experience so far. Pretty good. I mean, the thing about this Fresh Direct, they offer all these incentives every, every once in a while, like free shipping or whatever. And we just, we don't, we're not regular customers. We basically wait for like the coupon to show up. Sure. Like, all right, now's the time to order. And then we like, we stock up. That might be the best way to, to make a recommendation is like, who's got the best coupons right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> but it cycles. It's interesting. It's it's a good question. Online really hasn't disrupted the grocery market quite yet. No. And Fresh Direct and Peapod grocery have market. been around for a while. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> um, so we'll see if something big changes there. I mean, like, are drones going to help with that? Uh, Maybe not. But um, there aren't that many options. Like Prime Fresh, Amazon Fresh isn't in a lot of markets. No, and and neither is Google Express. I think some supermarkets yeah. do it too now. Right? Are they partner? What's oh, the company? Oh, well, there's Instacart. What's, there's Instacart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instacart. Right. Yeah, yeah. Instacart's another one. But yeah. They're not, I, I don't think that any of them are national. Maybe Instacart is, but I don't think uh, it is. I, th- I feel like Instacart is quasi national. Like, you can find them in a lot of places. I don't know. I don't use Instacart, but that's another one. So I, I've only used helpful. Prime Pantry when there's something exclusive or weird on there, like Surge, oh, Ecto yeah. Cooler, Dunkaroos, the kind of stuff you can't find in Whoa, stores. Whoa, Dunkaroos. Yeah. Wow. I haven't thought about those in years. <laughs> Thank exactly. you. Well, I've only Love thought it. about Surge and the Ecto Cooler because of Brian. Thank yeah. you for that nostalgia <laughs> bomb. Yeah. Oh my God, Dunkaroos. All right, switching gears, uh, talking about music streaming again. Um, yeah. Personal preference, does anybody here use Google Play? No, but I know. I I know Google Google Reporter, do. no. <laughs> Spotify user as well. So. I, I really I only <laughs> download stuff and then like listen to them, like listen to this. You don't song even stream music, times. do you? No, well, you, I mean like I use Pandora. Do you buy CDs still? Physical no, CDs? <laughs> no. How? Yes, I do. Yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> cassettes. You've got this that would actually not, that not would even, be pretty cool. Not even if vinyls, which are like really? still cool I mean, and niche. I, it would that be cool would be... if you bought albums, but are cassettes cool? Cassettes have made an unfortunate comeback. Have they really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah it's definitely. a cool collector thing again. I'm I'm on they top take of up that so trend. so much space. The little little boxes. And they suck. They're hands down the absolute worst recorded medium in history. It's the first time in recorded audio we took a big step backwards so is it in just fidelity. Like a, oh. just sort of a kitsch thing. Mm. You know what I do? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I use Amazon Music all the time because it's oh, part of my Prime yeah, account. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I do for uh, for kids' music. Right. Oh my god. They're very it's good. It's like they're very family oriented. It's the only reason why I don't use Spotify is because the I, I'm in the free tier, so I get ads every whatever half hour. Mm-hmm. So like you don't want me playing a bunch of kids' music, and all of a sudden it's like, hey. Like club music starts thumping. <laughs> Subscribe to Spotify or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, well, the thing their with trafficking Spotify, department needs to be fi- or, uh, fine-tuned a little bit. <laughs> yeah. The thing with Spotify is that I've been on it for so long that I pay. I pay. All right. I pay too. Yeah, and I've got it curated. Yeah. How I like it, and it'll be hard now, to move over. Would you be interested? Like, have you? Did you ever use Pandora? Mm-hmm. So would you be interested? Like, Pandora's pitch when they launch next year is that this is more personalized. You know, they've. I guess there's curated recommendations. Is that something that would interest you, or you're like, nah. eh, not really? Okay. Yeah. They know. I mean, I know what I, I know what I Good want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they've yeah, got them. Yeah. They've got them. Basically, I mean, like it would take a long time for Pandora to actually figure out what it is that yeah. makes. If it was cheaper, rich, rich. I know yeah. it's not. Unfortunately, the way these deals are struck, like they're all ten dollars mm-hmm. a month. Right. Yeah. Ten dollars or more. Which is why I think it's interesting that Apple reached 20 million subscribers because they came in at a little bit later like a couple yeah well couple they've got the exclusives after. they do yeah. have the exclusives yep. plus i mean look they had that built-in installed base for a long time right that's true and spotify has yeah. branched out to different avenues as well they have video now they do podcasts right uh they have their own private sessions that they host that they record in-house kind of thing exclusive nice. live tracks mm-hmm. and that kind of thing um, I use Google Play myself for my own personal collection, so that's where I've clouded my music uh, mm. yeah. to keep forever and ever because I've lost more than a few hard drives in my time and have Whoa. to keep recollecting my, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I like Spotify because that's where I venture out and be like, oh, this is, this is new. This is worth subscription price to try something new. I'm not going to be out anything here. Cool. And then if I really, really like it, I go buy it. I know. Absolutely forbidden, right? That's crazy. Buying stuff is forbidden. Yeah. Buying, buying, music. buying a specific buying, song. Buying physical music. So that is like, yeah. yeah I, I still do that is, that's it. That's the I still 90s, do it. man. Well, whatever. Lots. People that's... still do that. I'm sure there's billions of dollars no, of don't. digital music sales. No, they... I mean, I, no, I, I exist. I exist. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you look at the market share, like it's sort of the it is changing. Point is already, it's already passed. Like more people pay for streaming services, on-demand streaming services versus 
individual soundtracks yeah. or songs. I, I don't actually like music discovery, so I find yeah, songs neither, that I like. Neither do I. And then I stick <laughs> with them. So it actually makes sense for my life to keep buying single songs. But All right, we're running out of time, but switching gears back to pizza again. Uh, they want to know how to maintain the temperature of the pizza. And I got to imagine that the drone has... A compartment, yeah, just oh, like you well, know, Domino's, Domino's has, yeah, yeah. That. Domino's has the oven a car. Thing. It's got a remember. It's got that specially designed yes. car. With we the, both remember with this. The oven that keeps the pizza warm. I can only, I can only imagine like. I mean, the insulated be bag easy. has been around for decades. Right, That's it can be true very too. easy to have a drone with a built-in sort of insulated case. So more this importantly, is... more importantly though, how do they actually drop off the pizza? Does the thing make a gentle landing on your doorstep, or does it air bomb it in with like an inflatable? Oh, it's, <laughs> right. So that's what they're deciding. It's it, got to be a gentle landing, right? I would much rather see like mm-hmm. a, a <laughs> just pizzas sky fall through the fall sky pizza. everywhere. That's the dream. Like, That's it's the dream. It's seven o'clock at night. Like there's just pizzas everywhere falling. Right. There's this loud <laughs> bomb outside. Pizzas <laughs> here, <laughs> as if coming straight from God. Yeah. That's the dream. That is that is pizza. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the circle, this is our friend Michael Brown. Speaking of the circle, why is Hollywood obsessed with AI or Big Brother attacking civilians? Uh, it makes I mean, for good movies. Yeah, it makes yeah. for good movies. Have you not see the Terminator? Like, that's an awesome yeah. movie. You that's can't really point. make a movie where like technology just solves everything because that would be super boring. I mean, there was like her, right? Was it her? I didn't watch right. that yet. Well, I mean, I've been oh, told her's to. great. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if, there are movies that explore. If you're gonna more... fight the system, fight the electronic system. <clears throat> right. Yeah. yeah. I is think this, that, that's a more compelling narrative. That's the thing. Like, is this just, the obligatory part in the podcast where we talk about Westworld? Oh. Ooh. Good point. You yeah. can swing that way. Yeah. Why, why not? Yeah. Well, Westworld. Well, Westworld. Westworld was a good concept to kind of maybe push that forward and say AI isn't the problem. No, that, well, are. That, that was the best part of the show that it made you sympathetic to the host, right? Like, right. Humans no are spoilers, actually the No terrib- spoilers. No spoilers. Humans are terrible. That's not a spoler. <laughs> okay. <I'm just> <laughs> we all know this. They're, they're terrible. terrible. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, and th- I mean that's uh, definitely a, a show where flip the, the the common narrative on its on its head. Right. Where you are more sympathetic to the, the AI, the hosts, as opposed to. I humans. think it's. It, Michael makes a good point, though, that, um, you know, kind of the, the the well has been poisoned a long time ago by Hollywood. Oh, yeah. About how AI and robots are bad. That right. was already described to us, like, what was that, 15, 20 years ago? Probably even well, more than that. Well, not just Hollywood, but I mean, books and everybody. Every medium is basically. Right, exactly. Standards. Which is why I think it's funny that now that we have robots, right. um, the manufacturers go out of their way to make them all look cute and adorable. Oh, yeah, yeah. So right. that people aren't terrified by them mm-hmm. so that's that's why we have pepper and you know a right. google's like google's grinning uh, idiot robots. car looks like a smiley face with the head right yeah, yeah yeah it's to really alleviate Although I, tension our google assistant is like the least friendly like name wise branding wise it's, yeah it's just so generic that being said if i was murdered by pepper that would be really scary because it would just have this like adorable kind of grinning watch. face it would be so funny to watch actually <laughs> it, it would strangle me <laughs> <laughs> While smiling the whole right. time. The whole time. All right. Well, that's probably a good place to leave off. That would <laughs> be a, a, a very would morbid make perfect note. sense. That, that perfectly caps off our 150th episode, talking about Ben's demise. <laughs> so by, by a robot. <laughs> or by, more importantly, keep your eyes to the sky for forthcoming pizza bombs. <laughs> there you go. There you go. If you liked anything you saw or heard here, check us out on CNET. Uh, our podcast is also available on iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, SoundCloud, FeedBurner, and Google Play Music. We will see you all tomorrow. See you tomorrow.